Hey guys, welcome back to Click Academics. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to solve this exponential problem. And make sure to stick at the end of the problem, where I have three bonus problems that are similar to this one, which you guys can try to solve. Alright, so I have 7 to the power of 100 minus 7 to the power of 97. Now 100 here, this is equal to 97 plus 3. So now I have 7 to the power of 97 plus 3 minus 7 to the power of 97. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m plus n, this is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So 7 to the power of 97 plus 3, that's going to equal 70 to the power of 97 times 7 to the power of 3. Now I have this minus 7 to the power of 97. Now from here, if I factor out 7 to the power of 97, I get 7 to the power of 97 times. Now 7 to the power of 97 times 7 to the power of 3 divided by 7 to the power of 97 is simply just 7 to the power of 3 minus 7 to the power of 97 divided by 7 to the power of 97 is 1. So now I have 7 to the power of 97 times 7 to the power of 3 minus 1. Now this is equal to, well first let's solve for 7 to the power of 3. 7 to the power of 3, this is equal to 7 times 7 times 7, or 7 multiplied by itself 3 times. Now 7 times 7 is 49, so now I have 49 times 7, and 49 seven times 7 is 343. So now I have 7 to the power of 97 times 343 minus 1. 343 minus 1 is 342. So I have 7 to the power of 97 times 342. And this is actually my final answer. So 7 to the power of 97 times 342. 500 squared minus 499 squared. Now 499. This is equal to 500 minus 1. So now if I replace 499 with 500 minus 1, I get 500 squared minus 500 minus 1 squared. Now 500 minus 1 squared, this is the same thing as This is the same thing as 500 minus 1 times 500 minus 1. So now, I have 500 squared minus 500 minus 500 plus 1. And negative 500 minus 500, that's going to be negative 1,000. So I have 500 squared minus 1,000 plus 1. And now that we've simplified this, we can add in our 500 squared now. So we have 500 squared minus 500 squared minus 1,000 plus 1. And now, if I distribute the negative sign, I have 500 squared minus 500 squared plus 1,000 minus 1. So then these two cancel out, and I'd be left with 1,000 minus 1. And 1,000 minus 1 is 999. So now, 999 is my answer. So I have 2 to the power of 16 minus 16. Now 16 here, this is the same thing as 8 times 2. So now I have 2 to the power of 8 times 2 minus 16. Now 8 times 2, well first off, if I have something in the form a to the power of m times n, this is equal to a to the power of m to the power of n. So 2 to the power of 8 times 2, that's going to equal 2 to the power of 8 to the power of 2 minus 16, I can rewrite as 4 squared. Now, if I have something in the form a squared minus b squared, this is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So 2 to the power of 8 squared minus 4 squared, in this case a is equal to 2 to the power of 8 and b is equal to 4. So now I have 2 to the power of 8 plus 4 
times 2 to the power of 8 minus 4. Now 2 to the power of 8, well, 2 to the power of 1 is equal to 2, 2 to the power of 2 is equal to 4, 2 to the power of 3 is equal to 8, so as you can see this just doubles, 2 to the power of 4 is double of 8, 16, 2 to the power of 5 is 32, 2 to the power of 6 is 64, 2 to the power of 7 is double 64, which is 128, and finally 2 to the power of 8, this is double of 128, which is 256. So now I have 256 plus 4 times 256 minus 4. Now 256 plus 4, that's going to be 260, times 256 minus 4, that's going to be 252. So now I have 260 times 252. Now, I'm going to rewrite this as 260, we can rewrite as 250 plus 1, and 252, we can rewrite as 250 plus 2. Or sorry, 250, we can rewrite as 250 plus 10, and 252, we can rewrite as 250 plus 2. So now we have 250 plus 10 times 250 plus 2. So I'm going to first start by distributing the 250. So now this is equal to 250 times 250 plus 250 times 2. Now I can distribute the 10. So I have plus 10 times 250 plus 10 times 2. Now this is equal to... 250 times 250, well, 25 times 25 is 625, so then we add, just add in these two extra zeros. Now, 250 times 2 is 500. 70 times 250, or sorry, 10 times 250, that's 2,500. And finally, 10 times 2 is 20. So now, we simply have to add all of these up. So, 62,500 plus 500 is 63,000 plus 2,500 plus 20 is 2,520, and now this is equal to 20, I'm sorry, 65,520. So this is my answer. All right, so I have 2 to the power of 20 minus 9. Now, first off, 2 to the power of 20, we can rewrite as 2 to the power of 10 times 2, because 20 is equal to 10 times 2. Now I have minus 9. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m times n, this is equal to a to the power of m to the power of n. So 2 to the power of 10 times 2, that's going to equal 2 to the power of 10 to the power of 2. Now, I have this minus 9, we can rewrite as 3 squared. And now, if I have something in the form a squared minus b squared, this is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So in this case, a is equal to 2 to the power of 10, and b is equal to 3. So now I have 2 to the power of 10 plus 3 times 2 to the power of 10 minus 3. Now 2 to the power of 10, well 2 to the power of 1, this is equal to 2, and 2 to the power of 5, this is equal to 32. So 2 to the power of 6, this is equal to double of 32, 64. 2 to the power of 7, this is equal to double of 64, which is 128. 2 to the power of 8, double of 128, 256. 2 to the power of 9, double of 256, which is 512. Finally, 2 to the power of 10, which is double of 512, which is 1024. So now I have 1024 plus 3 times 1024 minus 3. Now 1024 plus 3 is 1027 times 1024 minus 3 is 1021. Now 1027 we can rewrite as 1000 plus 27 and 1021 we can rewrite as 1000 plus 21. So now I have 1000 plus 27 times 1000 plus 21 and now we can solve this by distributing. I'll first distribute the 1000 so I have 1000 times 1000 plus 21 times 1,000, plus now if I distribute the 27, 20, 27 times 1,000, plus 27 times 21. Now 1,000 times 1,000 is going to be 1 million, so I have 1 million, plus 21 times 1,000 is 21,000, plus 
27 times 1,000 is 27,000, plus finally 27 times 21 is 567. Now if I add all these up, 21,000 plus 27,000, that is going to be 48,000, plus 567 is 48,567, and now 1 million plus 48,567 is 1,048,567. So this is my answer.